Bimentum Dual Mobility System Surgical Technique and Instrument Guide The Bimentum Dual Mobility Cup X-ray templates are oriented at 45 degrees and allow measurement of any hip that can be accommodated by the Bimentum Dual Mobility Cup components including Bimentum Press Fit Cups Bimentum Plus Cups Bimentum Revision Cups and Bimentum Cemented Cups Using the AP radiograph, position the template 40 to 45 degrees to the inter teardrop or inter ischial line so that the inferomedial aspect of the cup abuts the teardrop and the superior lateral cup is not excessively uncovered. Two Bimentum Press Fit trays for the majority of Bimentum Press Fit cases. Initially, employ a rema at least 2 mm smaller than the diameter of the femoral head. Ream medially to find the acetabular floor. Subsequent reaming should proceed in 2 mm increments with the rema oriented at an inclination of 45 degrees. It is important to orient the acetabular remas in the same way as the implant is intended to be positioned. Continue to ream until good peripheral support is achieved. It is important to understand that the acetabular remas offered in bimentum instrumentation have the same shape as the cup. They have a 3 mm cylindrical extension to the hemisphere which must be buried in the bone during reaming. Using acetabular reamers other than those provided in the bimentum instrument set is not recommended to avoid any risk of imperfect preparation of the acetabulum and incomplete implantation of the final cup. The bimentum cup impactor has a curvature to accommodate the anterior hip approaches and MIS approaches. It is used to hold the trial implant and to orientate and impact the definitive implant. An optional inclination guide indicates the vertical axis or 45 degree angle compared to the cup. Unlocked position for placing the size specific bimentum cup holder adapter. Neutral position holds the size specific bimentum cup holder adapter in place. Locked position securely grips the trial cup and final implant for insertion to the acetabulum. Cup holder adapter Notch designed to be positioned next to the mark on the edge of the bimentum cup. Windows provide visualization of the level of the cup trial and or the definitive implant in the acetabulum. Assemble the cup holder adapter that equates to the diameter of the last reamer used to the cup impactor handle by pulling the lever towards the grip. Releasing the lever will allow it to return to the neutral position holding the cup holder adapter in place. Cup trial. External peripheral groove represents the start of the 3 mm cylindrical extension to the hemisphere. The notch shows the position of the flange for the Bimentum Plus cup. When assembling to the cup impactor, it must be positioned in front of the notch on the cup holder adapter. Two holes indicate the position of the pegs for the Bimentum Plus and Revision Cups. The lower opening provides visualization of the acetabular notch position. Two upper engraving lines indicate the location of the flanges of the Bimentum Revision Cup. Lower engraving line marks the location of the hook of the Bimentum Revision Cup. With the lever in the neutral position, place the cup trial on the cup holder adapter. Lock the trial in place by moving the handle to the locked position. Impact the trial cup into the acetabulum, taking note of the pre-operatively planned inclination and antiversion. It is also important to take note of the location of the orientation marks of the trial cup. At this stage, it is possible to carry out a trial reduction. Simply remove the impactor handle from the cup trial by releasing the lever to the neutral position. Bimentum Press Fit Cup Mark on the face of the implant which must be positioned towards the roof of the acetabulum. With the lever in the neutral position, place the cup 
onto the cup holder. Secure the cup in place by moving the handle to the locked position. The inclination of the cup should be set to approximately 45 degrees and antiversion between 15 degrees and 20 degrees. Confirm inclination and antiversion before proceeding with the impaction of the cup. Open the handle to release the implant. The yellow liner trials are used with heads of 28 mm diameter. To carry out trialing with 22.2 mm diameter heads, it is necessary to combine the yellow liner trial and the orange liner trial adapter. Screw the support cone and the clamping ring together, ensuring that they are centered on the fork. Place the head on the support cone and position the liner on the head. Squeeze the handles to reduce the liner onto the head while maintaining the liner in the axis of the support cone of the press during the descent of the piston. During assembly of the liner onto the head, the user will feel resistance increase twice and hear two successive noises as the head passes the retentive bore and then air escapes from the bearing. Correct assembly is confirmed when the head rotates freely within the liner. Primary movement occurs between the femoral head and the polyethylene liner, allowing the mobile polyethylene liner to sit in its natural position within the cup. Secondary movement occurs between the polyethylene liner and the cup when the femoral neck contacts the polyethylene liner. 